it's King Bravery here, back with another episode of Subnautica. Now, before we do anything else, I forgot to do a self-scan in the last episode. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. That's not good! Alright, so, what I want to do for this episode is... I want to, um, so actually, actually, before I even move on, getting a little ahead of myself as per usual, um, I did some upgrades here to the SS Humongous, so I'll kind of, if I can get into the Humongous. So you'll see here, I have a good bit of storage lockers. I kind of want to have this whole wall filled with storage lockers. Wait, I got storage in here? Oh, I had no idea these were also storage. Okay, well... I'm going to have this whole wall and parts of this wall filled with uh, storage lockers here. It's always good to have more of those. And, um, oh yeah, that's right. I have the SS Malacca uh, docked into the ship right now. Let's climb up here. So, I did go ahead. Um, I So, when I, with the beacon decoy launcher, I have... I went and built a bunch of decoys. And I also went a little bit crazy and have a lot of extra just in case you never know you never know um i do have some lockers here for water and uh food for longer journeys and before i continue on i should actually go grab some titanium back from the uh base here and build another uh storage locker because i do i did go ahead and build these power cell chargers here so i'm going to take these with me I highly doubt I'm going to be uh, gone long enough to uh, need to replace my power cells. But, I mean, it's always good to have more, you know, power cells on standby whenever you need them. And plus, once I get back to base, I can always just recharge them on the cells right there. So, that's fine like that. And then we're going to grab some titanium before we head out. Because we're going to build a storage locker for the power cells to be inside. Now, before we even do any of that, it's nighttime, so I'm going to take a big nappy nap so that it's not all darky dark and all scary scary, and then I'll be deady deady. All right, crack those bones, get up. So, if you're, you're probably wondering, well, Bravery, you said you're going on a journey. Where are you going? Well, I've kind of been neglecting a lot of the uh, life pods here. So, I'm going to play this message here. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, Ooh. do you read? Over. I read you. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. Whatever, man. Whatever. Leaving me to die. Okay, well. Unfortunately, the Sunbeam can't reach us just yet. So for the time being, what I'm going to do is where is the locker? Here we go. We'll make a law wall locker, probably like right here beside this power charger. I might even move this power charger, power cell charger into my base once I go back. Um, just because I don't really, I can't, because it's going to use the power to charge the power cells to make more power. It's, a, it's just easier to have it charging in the base. It just makes more sense that way. So while we wait for another uh, one of these sunbeams, actually I should probably take off life pod 19's thing so we should probably head over to the aurora rendezvous is what i'm thinking we should do all right so silent running decoy all right so we're gonna head over there towards the rendezvous point and get to dry land and we're gonna go over there and just kind of see what we can pick up there um i there might be some horrible creatures on the way so we should probably be careful about where we're going. But uh, I'll meet you guys once uh, we get there or some interesting shit happens. Oh, uh, God. I don't like not being able to see what's directly below me. It's uh, 
It's just creepy, man. It's just I know there's a bunch of evilness down there, and I can't see it. It's, ah! Blah, blah. Okay. We're almost where we're supposed to be. I'm going to save just in case. Oh, I hope there are no Leviathans. Okay. Whoa, hello. Ahead slow. We're gonna go ahead slow here. As we try and find an entrance here. Whoa, okay. Ooh, man. This is... I don't like how deep this goes. Oh, man. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hello. Oh, hang on. Pay. I was moving my mic for like a second, and I'm already about to crash my ship. Oh, boy. So where is an entrance to the island here? There has to be an entrance somewhere. Okay, I think this... I don't know if I... I did not mean to deploy a decoy. Fuck. God damn it. I hope there's no leviathans that get attracted to that. Deploying decoy. Stop deploying decoys! Rig for Simon, running. Stop it! What Engine are you doing? Powering down. Oh my lordy Lou! Jesus! Now I gotta put in two more decoys. Great. Good to know that I just wasted two decoys. Oh my lord. Okay, already got water. I'm going to bring some food with me. And... Okay, so... We're going to get off our ship here. It's right for in silent running, so... If there are any bad hombres around here... It shouldn't attract them. Alright. Dry land, here we are. Right. Picking up multiple energy signatures Fuck you. on the island's surface. Like I just stabbed you. Yeah. Don't try it. Really? Oh my goodness. Yeah, take it. Cave crawler. I'm gonna scan you. Jaffa Cup. Speckled Rattler. I don't know if that does anything for me. Alright. So where am I supposed to go here? Oh my god! Stupid. Am I have to just kill... Am I just gonna have to kill a bunch of those things? Oh man... Also, I'm pretty sure here we can find um, plant life that we can harvest to eat. Hmm. A bulbo tree. Is that something we can use? Edible. Ooh, okay. Bubble tree. I think I have one at the at the at the base here. Um, I just need to get the. Ex I think I need to get the interior grow bed in order to grow these. Though is what I need. Hmm. Oh, we got another uh, radio signal thing. I don't think there's much of anything on this island though. Oh man, this island's bigger than I thought. This is a big island. So, where is the SS... The SS Humongous is over there. Okay. So, it looks like we're on the other side of the island now. Don't drop down there. That's a drop to death. Oh boy. Pink cap. Can I get some mushrooms? Is it edible? No, not edible. God dingus dang it. 
All right. So I'm thinking maybe there's like a PDA I can find here on the island. I'm trying to get to the top of the island. I didn't even look to see if there's anything on top here, but I'm going to make my way up here. And oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Be careful. Careful. We don't want to fall. We got to watch our step. The whole way up. Oh man, these these cliff facings, they are oh my god, they are so close together. Did I not scan these? I guess I didn't. Are they edible? They rattle to ward off predators. Interesting, okay. Doesn't mean guess that means they're not edible, I suppose. And oh hello. An old base. Is this from like the, the gassy? Ooh. Near blueprint acquired. Okay. Chinese potato. Alright, so I can eat that. So we'll... Okay, cool, cool. We got all these. Okay, so... Marble melon. Whoa. And so, hang on, what do I need to make that, uh... Oh, it just takes titanium. Okay. Well, once I get back to the base, I can easily make that. No problem. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. Okay. It's getting no dark. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting all i'm saying is oceans you got us surrounded acquired. no use hiding sooner or later we'll get our feet wet the rest of your life may have been a fight maida but i've made my decision you want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim go ahead believe me i'm thinking on it man she seems like a pretty tough rough and tough woman there might want to listen to what she says, but hey, I, uh, I guess it seems like you guys are all dead. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, my God. It is dark. How do I get home to my Cyclops? I just want to get back to the Cyclops. Oh, my God. Wait. Is that a different base? Is that That's a different building over there. Hang on. And I need water. That's a different building over there. Okay. And. Okay. Okay. What's that noise? I don't like noises in the dark. I don't like it. Alright. Making our way up. Making our way downtown. And. Oh, more water. Cool. And. Hello! Interior grow bed. Yes. This is what I wanted. How do I make it? Just it means takes more titanium is all. All right. New blueprint acquired. Excellent. Lantern fruit. Oh baby. All right. So I'm going to need to drop some things here it seems like. Maybe drop this Chinese potato. All right, pick one of those up. So I don't get, looks like I don't get anything from when I strike it. Okay, so I don't. Okay, so, oh, it's a PDA here. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions mm. are getting worse. 
Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. So this guy, in his dying breath, he came back to the surface to record on that PDA. Because I think this was their original base of operations for the Degasi. And then they eventually made a second base in the Jelly Shroom Caves. If I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, that's what happened, right? If, you know, if I'm understanding things correctly here. And I guess um, his father and that other lady, uh, I guess, d already died and he came back. Saying, man, we shouldn't have gone down there, which you probably shouldn't. I don't know why you mother flippers went down there, but hey, that's what you did. And then, yeah, he was like, yeah, man, like, this is... Don't go down there. Don't go down there. Don't go in the deep, man. Oh, man, that's got to be scary, though, man. Like, dying alone on an alien planet, an alien ocean planet. Like, you're literally on an island surrounded by alien water. Like, ah, God damn, man. Like, that's scary. That's a scary thought, man. But hey, man, kudos to him. At least he saw the bright, like, at least some bit of positive in his last moments saying that, hey, at least I'll join them soon and be part of the ecosystem now. Oh, but man, 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 man. Oh, this game. This game is so good. The lore. Oh, God, I'll see you guys when I get back to the base. Oh, my God. Not gonna lie, man. Trying to inch your way around these shallows in a giant sub. Man, I'm, it's like driving in the Canadian winter, man. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like how close to home this hits. God, it just... Like, the snow just mel melted after a huge storm out here. And, man, this is... Uh, I don't like the fact that this just reminded me of the fact... That uh, I just spent the last six months driving around the way I'm having to drive this damn sub. But, here we are now. So, we're back at the base. So, we're going to go back down here. I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another multi-purpose room. I don't know where yet. I haven't figured that out. But, I'm going to build that and then have a bunch of grow beds in there is what I want to do. So, get the titanium in there. Let's get a bunch of titanium here. All right. Now, where should the, uh, where should I put it? Where, oh, where should I put my grow beds? I wonder if I should have another level above here, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Have one more level up here. All right, now how do we build the hatch again? I need one quartz. I just need to grab some quartz. And, okay, I can actually go down here. So where are my quartz? Right here. One of those. Go up. And then I'll also need to build a ladder. There we go. All right, so let's head outside here. And where is the hatch? Also, yeah, the bulkhead. So, I got that when I was, um, over in the island there. So, apparently, this will prevent your base from flooding certain areas, I think. Which is pretty handy, but I'm not going to build one right now. Because right now, I'm focusing on other things. So, let's open this up here. Why, hold on, why is my recording not doing that? There we go. Alright, so. Where are the... That's the exterior grow beds. Indoor grow bed. That's what I want. Alright, build that up. Nice. Maybe one in each corner here will do. I know it probably doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. And it might not even be the most efficient way to do it. But hey, it's a way to do it. And I need more titanium. Just grab a bunch of titanium. All right, got that one. 
And here we go. And we'll do one more here. All right, excellent. Now we're gonna climb back down. I'm gonna put my titanium away so I can free up some inventory space. And then we're gonna head back to the SS Humongous to get the uh, seeds in order to start planting. So we can actually get some food growing. That way we don't have to keep hunting peepers all the damn time. So, decomposing small marble midland. All right, so we'll leave those for now. All right, so let's get in there. Let's go, let's go. All right, so this first one here will plant the uh, bulbo seed or whatever those are called. And then here we'll have the lantern fruit seeds. And then here we'll have the Chinese plant seeds. And then here we'll put marble melon seeds. So we'll have to let these grow for a bit. So I won't be able to get them right away. But hey, that's fine. We got we got food. We got food. And I think some of these even give water. Which is definitely going to make our life in this ocean a lot easier. Okay, so now that we're back at our base. At slash the life pod. And now that we got grow beds going. We can now continue on going with the uh, radio signals here. So let's see what this one has to say. This is life pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Right, so I, we don't know where exactly he's at, right? Hmm. So, Aurora Rendezvous, so we'll leave that because we don't need that right now. So, I think I know where Life Pod 4 is at. But, I want to wait till it's daytime as well. I'm not going out right now just yet. Um, god damn it. Okay. Well, quickly, I'm going to move these uh, charged power cells back to the uh, SS Humongous here very quickly. And then I'm going to grab the... Uh, SS Malacca from the SS Humongous and we're gonna go over there and find where this guy's at All right, let's open this hatch here And we're gonna enter a Seamoth Okay, let's repair this I'm gonna save our game quickly All right, so where is the Aurora because we got to go towards the Aurora there it is. I hope it becomes daytime soon. I don't want to do this at nighttime. I really would rather not have to do that. All right. Well, it looks like daytime is on its way here, and we are by the Aurora. So we got to kind of search around here for this uh, Life Pod 4 is what we got to find. All right. Got to be careful around here because there are uh, sand sharks in this area. So we got to be very wary about what's where we are. I should probably pick up some resources while I'm here since I've used a lot of resources when I was building the um, lockers and the decoy tubes in the SS uh, Humongous. Um, specifically, I've had to use a lot of copper for things. So copper is something we'll definitely have to keep picking up here. Uh, whenever we see it, whenever we see a limestone outcropping, we'll have to pick it up. You ah! get out of here. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Uh, what are you doing here, buddy? You good? Okay, we gotta be careful. We need to be careful here. And oh wait, hang on. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Be careful. You are upside down. What happened to you? Open data bank. What did I get from this? Oh, just titanium? What the hell, man? Nothing new. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class. Highly aggressive. 
Spectroscope scanner Reapers. assigned species designator Reaper. Yep. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, I presume I miscalculated. I think you miscalculated, my friend. I'm sorry to say. Oh man. So that life pod got that life pod got attacked by a reaper, is what happened. Oh man, that doesn't bode well for me, does it? Uh, and eventually too, I'm gonna have to go and brave this area to uh, get into the Aurora eventually. I just don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Ah! Safety. God damn, that scared me, not gonna lie. All right, I'm not too worried about the stalker. They're not as aggressive as the other predators in this game, so I'm not too worried right now. Oh my lordy Lou. All right, well, let's keep picking up resources here. Um, I'm gonna leave the uh, metal salvage because I know I can always come back for more because I mean, I could always use more titanium, but I got enough titanium to last me for quite a while. So, if I need to get more titanium, I'll make a trip over here with the SS uh, Humongous and just start farming a bunch of materials. But for now, I'm just going to focus on other stuff. Bye! Hello! Don't mind me, please. Alright, let's get back to our... Uh See him up. I keep finding more resources. Like, not that I'm complaining, but goddamn, I'm like, every time I'm like, okay, let's go back, I find more shit. And, oh, hello. Time capsule. What do you have for me? My inventory is full. Uranium crystal? Crystal, what did he have? Okay, let's get back to the SS Malacca. Alright, so what did he have? He had some lead. What else did he have? I'm like full up on stuff right now. Did like the stuff he have, did it drop somewhere? Oh, hey, hi, hi, hi. Die, die, die. Um, I don't know how much of this stuff that I have in my inventory was taken from the uh, time capsule. And oh, and never mind. I got a I got a second thermal blade. Okay, okay, cool, cool. That's nice. Well, for now, I'm going to head back to the base. Maybe by the time I get back, we're, we'll get the signal for another light pod. What the fuck? Um, okay. I guess okay, I was putting my stuff that I picked up away and I guess I picked this is the stuff that I got from the time capsule. Okay, cool. Um, these uranium. I also, what what else did I get? Because when off camera, when I was resource gathering, I found other um, uh, time capsules with these ion cubes. I think we need these for end game content, but I don't know. I'm gonna save these for now. I don't know if I should use these or not. If it's considered cheating, but oh, I guess I, I kind of figured it was kind of cool to show you guys that. Well, it seems like my gardens are coming along quite nicely here. That's pretty cool. So now that I'm filled up on food and I've uh, unloaded all of my uh, resources that I've gathered, we did get the signal thing for another radio. So let's see what we got. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yaki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do Kasa. I report this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Oh. Location uploaded to PDA. Where is he? Carrying high priority passengers remains. That's to the west. Where is that? Is that in the dunes? Oh my god, that's in the dunes, isn't it? God damn it. Well. 
you know what? I'm not going to worry about that too much right now because, unfortunately, I am out of time for this episode. So next time, we are going to go to LifePod 13's location to find out what happened to this guy. He probably got eaten by a Reaper Leviathan. Like, let's be honest here. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.